Hey guys, it's Sam here from Set Cell Studios, and today I'm going to be looking at adding a transparent watercolor texture to your text using Photoshop. So, if you jump into a new document and then head to File and select Place Embedded, and then you can choose the background image that you want to use, uh, you can then click and drag the image into position. Once you're happy with the image position, just press Enter and then head to the Type tool. Um, this effect is going to work better with white text, so I'm selecting a white foreground colour as well. Uh, and then click in the centre of your document, and uh, for this tutorial I'm going to be using my new font, the Wayfaring font. So I'm going to choose that from the font menu. And then you can type out your text and click and drag it into position. So now we're going to look at adding the texture to the text. Um, this texture is something that I prepared myself and that I will leave a download link uh, in the description of the video. So head to file and choose place embedded again and then choose the texture from your computer and then press enter. Now you need to right click and choose create clipping mask and this will uh, confine the texture just to the, to the text layer. So if you click the move tool um, you can click and drag the texture into your preferred position with regards to the text um, and if you use the rectangular marquee tool you can also right click and choose free transform and then uh, you can actually resize the texture if you need to and just get it in the best position and you just kind of need to use your your own judgment uh, but once you're happy press enter and then it's just a case of um, pressing shift and then selecting the text layer so you've got both the texture layer and the text layer highlighted in the layers panel then right click choose rasterize layers and then right click again and choose merge layers so now you've got the text and the texture on the exact same layer here I'll show you if you can uh, switch the layer on and off so you can see they're both uh, combined now and then it's just a case of choosing the screen blending option uh, in the layers panel and this will um, make all the darker areas transparent in the texture so if I click and drag the text around you can see that the background image is showing through the the texture now so yeah there you have it guys I hope that uh, wasn't too complicated but if you do have any questions or anything please feel free to get in touch with me you can drop me an email at sam at setcellstudios.com uh, or just leave a comment below in the video and I will see you guys on the next tutorial